Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to talk to you all today about a topic that I think is so, so important, which is the most difficult things about learning how to code on your own. And some tips that will really help, hopefully, you navigate through these difficult um, things and make sure you have your best chance with your code learning on your own experience. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, ring the bell and okay, let's get started. Nowadays, you can learn absolutely anything on the internet and a lot of it you can learn for free, which makes the idea of learning how to code for free online very exciting and very accessible to a lot of people who are looking to develop a new skill, get a new job, start a career, any of the above. Um, there's so many reasons why you should learn how to code and a lot of people now are, instead of going to school for it or boot camps for it, they are teaching themselves online for free. So I wanted to break down some of the most difficult things that you will come across potentially when you are starting to learn to code by yourself. For those of you who don't know, I did attend, after university I attended a boot camp and then I spent, uh, after the boot camp, I don't know, two to three months focusing on learning to code on my own and really once you become a developer, your whole life is continuously learning if you want to continue to grow and stay up with different trends and different things coming up. So I definitely have experienced learning how to code on my own. Uh, and I wanted to share with you some of the most difficult things I came across and also two that I've heard about and go through it all. The number one most difficult thing I found when I initially started learning how to code on my own was finding the time to do it. Especially too when you are either in university or at a full-time job and you're trying to make time to do uh, learn this new skill on your own it can become very overwhelming as to when do I find the time? Like, I mean, I want to also have a social life and see my friends and my family and I want to sleep and I want to eat. Like, where's the time? Um, so that was a big one, finding the time to code. However, what I found really helped with that was scheduling it out and treating it like it was a job in the sense that I would schedule out throughout the week. Okay, so I want to finish this module on say like Codecademy or freecodecamp.org and this is how much time I think it's going to take me. So if I spend uh, two hours Monday night, Tuesday I camp because I'm hanging out with my friends, Wednesday three hours and kind of break it down into chunks so then by the time Saturday comes you've already spent X amount of hours learning this skill and you're done the module. Um, but really holding yourself accountable to, to the schedule and creating a schedule to begin with because a lot of times if you just say, oh I'll get to it or oh I'll do it someday, someday will never come. Um, so I think having a schedule will really help you when you are trying to find time to code. Also too, on that note, a really big thing I think is so important to highlight is you don't have to spend hours every single day learning how to code. Maybe you only have 15 minutes in the morning. Take that 15 minutes and spend it on coding. It doesn't have to be these grand hours or grand times that you spend on code. Even putting in a few minutes every day is better than nothing at the end of the day. The number two thing that I found difficult when I was learning how to code on my own, and this more so applies to depending on your learning style, but for me, I like to bounce things off of other people and kind of say, okay, yeah, like that, that makes sense and, and engage in a conversation to best learn. Um, and when you're learning by yourself, sometimes you can feel very isolated and like you don't have anyone to bounce things off of. So finding people to talk about code to was so important to me and it helped so much. And it was kind of scary at first because I actually didn't know, I didn't have any friends who were developers or actually even knew how to code. I had a few, but they weren't like in the realm that I was in, they were more specialized. When you're learning how to code initially, you just wanna learn, you know, JavaScript or Python or HTML, CSS, like one of the main languages and then kind of go from there. Um, but, so what I did was I asked one of my friends who was a cybersecurity engineer if she had any friends who were full stack developers that could sit down with me and at once a week all the questions I had compiled from the week I can ask them. And that really, really helped. So I got connected with someone who I didn't know. And at first I was kind of um, very shy and introverted and I wouldn't fully ask all of my questions I was thinking. But then I realized quite quickly after that, in order to grow and to continue to learn, I had to be very open and just even if I was embarrassed to ask a question, still ask it because there's no such thing, honestly, as a silly question. Um, and everyone learns in different ways. So you just gotta ask your questions. But 
definitely finding a mentor or someone to sit down even once a week to really help you with your coding journey, um, go over concepts, even if you don't have questions, but going back and explaining concepts to another person, even if they already know about it, will really help iterate what your learnings were for the week. Another thing I found difficult when I was learning how to code on my own is when I would go through different tutorials, learning not only the syntax and the code, but actually understanding why I was doing the things I was doing, why I was writing this for loop, why I was writing this if statement, and how, how this could be transferred to other projects, other skills, because a lot of times when you're first starting out learning to code, it's very like, oh, okay, like, I'll put the for loop here because the instructor told me to and you don't really have too much um, experience with it so then you you just kind of do as you're told and that was a lot of my initial experience when I was uh, taking different tutorials online and what really helped me fully understand different concepts is once I was done my project that I was learning online I would make another addition to the project so for instance say I was taking a tutorial on react to do app well then after the tutorial was done I'm trying to implement maybe one or two other features to the to-do app to kind of uh, iterate again what I just learned and really make sure I fully understood it by making other features on my own. So don't fall into the tutorial trap. It can be very easy to do when you kind of start doing tutorials and going down this path of, okay, I'm at a point where I understand code and I want to start building things and taking tutorials is a great way to do that initially, but you don't want to fall in the trap where all you do is take tutorial after tutorial after tutorial um, and then not actually ever implement what you are learning. The last thing that I found difficult, um, I would say, is sometimes it can become lonely and overwhelming and you're not really sure why you're spending all your time doing this and at first it can be like well what's the point like I have so much to learn and why am I even doing this and it's sometimes you can work yourself up to just give up before you even really fully get involved in it and fully dive into it so for me one of the biggest things was perseverance and just sticking to it and really recognizing the, the power of coding and what it can help um, me do whether in my job uh, whether in my you know, side hustle business, any of the above coding will help you in so many areas of your life. And um, just not giving up and not feeling silly for being a beginner at something, even when you are at an older age, like you're not 17 or 16 year old prodigy, you're like, I was, I think 20, I don't know, I was in my early 20s. Um, and that's still young, but I think uh, society always puts, puts this highlight and pressure on when you're at a certain age, being a beginner isn't really, that much of a positive thing sometimes when it really is uh, and it should be embraced because everyone was a beginner at some point so take it go with it learn how to code and see where it takes you I hope you all enjoyed my video thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon thanks everyone thank you all for watching my video if you haven't already go check this one out it's amazing all about why I love being a software developer and some more inspiration for for your coding journey Thanks everyone.